What's going on guys, Unknown Player here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Crucible gameplay from Destiny, and this is going to be a 23 kill streak and a 23 kill death ratio, a very, very good game I got uh, quite, actually quite a while back, and this right here, you're going to see, is my first and only death of the game, which is really kind of funny, I literally just capped the starting flag, moved forward, and this Titan with the Lightning Grade actually managed to kill me, and that was my only death for the entire game, which is kind of funny that happens at the very, very start there, but this is a very cool game, I did really enjoy it, and and the weapon I'm going to be using for, I think, pretty much every single kill, apart from the golden gun, of course, I'm a hunter in this, and uh, the weapon I use for most of this is a um, Vex Mythoclast, of course, which is a very, very good weapon, and it's an interesting weapon for PvP. I know a lot of people that would say it's an awful weapon PvP, and they really don't like it, and a lot of people that would say it's a very good one, maybe even overpowered, And uh, but I really like it. I'd say for Crucible, it's definitely one of my favourite weapons. You'll see me just uh, running Rampage on these guys, and now uh, they do look like quite a lot of noobs. They're definitely not Christmas noobs, so I think I got this like a month or two ago, a very long time ago and uh, I was like level 29 or 30 I think and uh, I think this was just before the Dark Below DLC came out and there's a few, I think there's like one level 10 guy in here but there's a few level 29s, 28s and so they're not like really high level but they're definitely not like Christmas noobs or like level 10 noobs that have never played it before and uh, so yeah it's a very very interesting game the thing I like most about this is I'm not at all like camping like you'll see in the game but I'm rushing completely from spawn to spawn, constantly chasing them, constantly going into like right now in, the, in their sea spawn uh, they've all got that and there are just loads them coming out of there and I'm kind of pushing in and obviously not the best players in the world but I really do like the Mythic class. I think it's a very interesting weapon and it's very good and very bad in different situations. It kind of reminds me of like a submachine gun if Destiny had submachine guns because it's very good at close range whereas long range is absolutely awful. Like this is not at all a good weapon to use at long ranges. It just doesn't excel. It's way too inaccurate. The bullet spread just goes everywhere and uh, but however at close range it can be a very very formidable weapon and it can do a lot of damage and the main thing about this this weapon is that as a huge huge headshot multiplier and if you're actually really accurate you can make that it's a very good use i think it has a bigger headshot multiplier than most auto rifles i think most auto rifles have around 1.2 or 1.3 multiplier and the vex myth class actually has a 1.5 so if you're getting those headshots as you can see in this gameplay quite a few of them are headshots and uh, i do much more considerable amount of damage and that's why at close range is just amazing and if you can get this thing and aim it to the head you'll just absolutely destroy people and it's a very very good weapon in there in that sense and i really do like you Using. It's probably one of my more favourite uh, weapons to use with the Crucible, and I definitely wouldn't say it's overpowered, but uh, there are weapons such as the Hawk Moon and uh, Cirrus Regime, which are a lot more debated to be uh, much more powerful, but this weapon I do think is very powerful, probably not overpowered, but definitely my favourite weapon to use out of my current inventory. I don't have Hawk Moon just yet, but uh, yeah, this is some interesting Crucible gameplay. I thought you guys might enjoy seeing that. I don't actually play Crucible all that much. Like I'd say the vast majority of my time in Destiny is spent in the uh, PvE doing strikes or raids or patrolmen and stuff like that, grinding my character and getting his, all his gear and exotic weapons ranked up. I don't really spend all so much time in the Crucible, and uh, but I do hop on every now and again, and I do enjoy playing with the Vex Smith class, of course, and mixing up with different weapons, because it's a very kind of a fun experience, obviously, of course, for the bounties where I hop on, but it's not very often that I do hop in, and I actually topped my kill streak by one in my uh, last, you might remember one of my first videos for Destiny when I actually launched was a 22 gun streak, and that was using mostly a fusion rifle, and uh, I actually got 22 gun streak in that, and then this game play I got 23 so I actually topped my record by just one kill and uh, I was close to getting the 25 but the game ended too quickly you see at the end and also uh, make sure you stick around to the very end of the video to the loot stages because someone gets something very very interesting I won't say who you can find out if you stick around to the end of the video but there's a very interesting loot stage and uh, the loot is also something that kind of deters me from playing Crucible a little bit more because the loot is much more guaranteed in uh, the PvE stuff such as the strikes if you play the Vanguard ROC you're pretty much guaranteed to get like two uh, blue engrams which can then rank up your crypt arc and you can get like strange coins or modes of light out of them you can get armor so if you're ranking up one of your alts you can get some uh, some plasteel plating or hydronic essence uh, it's much more kind of beneficial to play the pve stuff and especially the vanguard strikes and uh, after i do like my patrol missions i'll normally hop in to the uh, vanguard roc players level 26 one and uh, just grind through that and at this point in the game play it was kind of stressful because i had to I actually run out of ammo on my mythic class which was really strange i'm never used to doing that I had to pull out my uh, found verdict which is my secondary shotgun from the vault of glass uh, shotgun i've actually got i think it like 19 found verdicts which is kind of a fun fact i've got 19 found verdicts for some reason i've got a ton of them i know people that have never got one of them i don't know how the loot tables work but it's very weird that i've got so many of these but i had to pull this thing out and i completely ran out of ammo at my vex method class which is odd i don't i'm pretty sure normally like if you kill someone they're supposed to drop a primary ammo drop but uh, for some reason they didn't and i had to pull out this thing i probably got to got my 25 kill streak to be honest if i had actually been able to use my vex method class for a little bit longer but uh, yeah uh, hopefully you enjoyed 
enjoyed this video do drop a like rating on the video and let me know if you want to see some more cruise for games that i get every now and again but uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video drop a like rating if you did if you want to see some more destiny videos of mine there's a playlist in the description full of those videos you can check out but i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later